Okay, we're going to have some fun times here. All right. We're having a blast filming this video, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a bag. What's inside the bag, you ask? Oh, I don't know. Some antique props. Nice. We got some cool stuff here. This is a vintage horn from Halloween when we were kids. Yeah. I mean, these suckers are made out of metal. Yeah. They're not made like that now. We'll put hmm. this over here. And I have a noisemaker, like a rattle. Remember these things? Oh, yeah. And as you can That's see, cool. the bag is empty. Yeah. Now, out of these two items, which is your favorite? The rattle. The rattle. Makes a lot of noise. You like making noise. I do. <laughs> right, we're just going to basically put this down inside like so. Okay. And I'll place the bag here. Okay. <gasps> Listen to that. Cool. Simply amazing. Yeah. And we'll put this over here. Now, wait a minute. What? What if I wanted the horn? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I never did it before. Oh, no. We can try. Okay. We'll get the horn. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll place it down inside like so. Place the bag here. <gasps> Listen to that. <laughs> Look twice. Twice is nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. This is based on a UF grant principle. Oh, yeah. All right. And nice. I I kind of brought this into the 21st century. It's not the same method you use, mm. but the idea behind it is really cool. I kind of like the idea. This is the haunted horn or haunted toy horn. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of putting it into a bag and making it blow and so forth. Mm -hmm. cool. well, that's all you have, Grant. You have, Grant was the man. He was. All right. Now, what I have here, Sherry, is a solid wand. Okay. And a ribbon. And all this should be examined by the spectator. Okay. okay but since your hands are full... We can't do that. I have a box. Mm -hmm. It has a hole drilled in the back. Okay. A hole drilled through the front panel. Nice. We're going to place this down inside like so. And I have two different colored little discs. And again, these are solid. They can be examined. All right. Now, out of these colored uh, discs, which, is, which would you like me to use? The yellow or the uh, orange? The yellow. The yellow? Yeah. Okay, cool. First of all, we're going to get the wand. And I'm going to place it into the box so uh, the ends extend out both ends, which I hope you can get a glimpse of that. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm, that looks good. All right. And the ribbon now should be examined, and it should be threaded on by the spectator. Okay. All right. But since it's on. Your, since mm -hmm. your hands are busy, we can't do that. Now, we're going to pretty much basically just drop the ribbon and the ring down inside. Oh, okay. I'll thread it out the back, and I'll thread it through the front. And I'm going to show you a little bit better so there's no deception. Okay. All right. So you can see both ends. I see them. All right. And I'm going to get the ribbon, uh, the, the, the ring. The ring, yeah. And I'll bring it up so you can see it. See it? Actually thread it on there. It is. Okay. And here's both ends of the ribbon. Okay. We're going to drop it down inside. Now it's just a matter of pulling the ribbon out. Yeah. Okay. You can actually hear that in there. That ring. Huh? I yes. hear it. And what's cool about this, if I snap my fingers. Pull the lid up. You can see. Look at that. The ring has now threaded onto the wand. That is neat. And it can be examined. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You All built right. that, didn't you? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. It's beautiful. It's based Good on, job. Based on an old effect. It's, uh, oh. The uh, directions to build this thing is actually in the Bird Book, which oh, was printed nice. in the 80s, in the early 1980s. Uh, the idea of that box is by David Bamberg, who was Okido back mm. in the vaudeville days. He did a fantastic oriental show. Oh, but that was his idea. That's and really nice. Really, really a cool concept. So if you have a chance to pick up that book, I would highly recommend it. Okay. All right, let me clean up a little bit here. All right. What else do you have? What I have, Sherry, is a pack of cards. Okay. We can give these babies a shuffle to prove they're not arranged in any way. I'm going to go through now. It's your choice. Anywhere at all. Stop. You want this one or the one up top? The one on your uh, left hand, the bottom one. This one here? Yes. All right. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it. Oh, okay. You got it? Sure. All right. <laughs> I'm going to basically cut the pack, <clears throat> and we're going to place your card onto the lower half and bury it. Okay. I have a friend of mine. He's going to attempt to find Oh, your card. is he cute? Isn't he cute? His name is Barkley. <laughs> Barkley the Magic Dog. We're going to deal these cards one by one. Okay. And hopefully he'll tell us what your selected card is. Oh, he got something. 
Oh, look how cute. He's even standing up. Whoa, look at that guy. he's doing a willy. All right, Barkley, calm down. That's and so the, cute. the very next card that would have been dealt ah, is the Joker. Yes, it was that. Uh-huh. <laughs> no wonder you had a strange look on your yeah, face. Yeah, I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is based off of Ian Verdi. This is not original Ian Verdi. Mm -hmm. This is my remake of it. You did a great job on well, that. Thank you. And, uh, you too, Barkley. <laughs> I added one thing to it okay. that the original Inverty one does not have. Oh. I added, instead of a jack, the wires are attached to a jack, you plug it in. Oh. I added magnets. Look at that. Okay. And here's the magnets on the... We love those magnets. <laughs> yeah. Here's the magnets on the base. That's really sweet. So to make it work, all you have to do is attach the magnets. <laughs> And you're set. Genius. <laughs> so that's the remake of the Inverti Barking Dog. Woohoo! All right, we'll put that over here. Okay, what I have here now, Sherry, is something pretty cool. I have, I believe, 10 jumbo cards. Okay. Okay. Now, would you like to name a number between 1 and 5 or 5 and 10? Mm, 5 and 10. 5 and 10? Okay, name any number. 7, my favorite. Is that your favorite? Yes, it is. Okay, now this is a free choice. Uh, Spectator okay. Spectator really has any free. We're going to go 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. We're going to place that down. And I'm going to select any card. Okay. Uh, any card at random. Let's see. We'll get this one here. Okay. Now, what's cool about this, when I pick these up, believe it or not, strangely enough, <gasps> there's a match. That's nice. Oh, but that's not all. What? Because these cards are completely blank. Wow. Now, you good. really can't get any better than this. This is a really cool nice. thing. And it really is a free choice. I'm not forcing any numbers on you. Right, you didn't. This is UF Grant again. This is called Jumbo Blinko. <laughs> and, and I've had this for probably over 30 years. And I've used it several times throughout the years, and it kills. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a powerful effect. Here's the, it's here's very the original nice. directions. If wow. anybody out in internet land has a chance to pick this up, I would highly recommend it. Thank you. Okay, hope you've had fun. Have a great day. You too.